Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a q and A. I I am going to be doing this obviously with my sister. She is in town for spring break, so we thought why not do a QA? and a um, We had you guys ask us questions on social media, so we're just gonna go through a few of them. We're not gonna answer all of them. Okay, and Erica's gonna be the one reading them off. Yes. So, so, to introduce myself, I they know I'm, who you are. I don't be on here all the time. I still gotta greet it. Like, the freak. I'm Erica, Jada's sister. And, like she said, I'm home for spring break. I wish I could just stay home, but you know how that go. Hold on. I'm going to the questions. I like to do it like this so I can see. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna start from over here. What? Somebody said. You tell me here all that. Somebody said, which one of y'all want to marry me? Okay. I don't know you. So, no. I don't even know. Um, I think we were kind of looking for questions that we can, like, yeah. really um, answer. Dante said, how much do you love Dante? We so love you much. so much. On the scale of 1 through 10, off the charts. That we is my Dante baby. So Okay, here go a real question, y'all. What's your definition of an ideal relationship that you would want to be in? Mm, you go first. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm answering. I'm asking the question, so you gotta go first. Um, my ideal relationship. Um, I think my biggest thing is to have a strong bond. Like, if I don't feel comfortable with my significant other, it's just not going to be right. Like, I shouldn't feel like tense around you like i should i should be able to be myself right that's just the type of person i am i'm very goofy um so if i can't do that in front of you i feel like you're not it you're not the one for me i feel like that too because i hate when i just more things as well but i just want to say i can't that. i hate when i just can't like be myself and like I just can't be ugs. Like, just let me be. Yeah, because I like being ugly. But I think really trust and loyalty. I'm really big on loyalty just because, like, I've been done so wrong in the past. So I feel like if I really feel like you are not a loyal person, I just can't get with it. Like, we don't even have to be in a relationship at the present moment. But if I feel like in our friendship you're not even a loyal person, like, it can't get any further than that. Because, like, if you can't even be loyal to me it's just like what can we do how far can we go no way absolutely somebody said why can't i ha i don't want to read these little irky questions just do no some of them do some of yours and then read something to mine i have a boyfriend so that should shut down all of that everything that everybody want to be saying i have a boyfriend oh, it's two of us yeah okay read it He's saying that he said it on my thing. He oh, said, "Why so can't yeah. I have you in my life?" Then you just so I'm those. saying for everyone that has anything to say as of as of that, no. Sorry. Where are you guys from, and do you like your city? Baltimore, Maryland, and it's cool. I just feel like we can't go anywhere and have a good, positive time without somebody being stupid. Like. Mm -hmm. We don't need to fight everywhere. We don't need to shoot everywhere. Yeah. It's, it's not necessary. Yeah, I was just saying yesterday with my friends, like, as soon as we graduate, we are out of here. Seriously. It's nothing here. And it's like, it's good to come back home to, like, right. your family and stuff. But it's just like, just when that. you are away, you just be like, I can't go. Like, home is just. First of all, it just be so scary. It do be scary. It just be like it something be scary always sometimes. going on. I ain't gonna lie. And the thing is, I'm not gonna sit here and act like it can't happen anywhere and everywhere. But it's just Baltimore. Y'all don't know how to act. Yeah. Like we just really have to do better as yeah. a whole. It's Seriously, not cute. Though. It's really not cute. It's not cute because if something happens to y'all family member, everybody's exactly. sick. You're right. sick. Right. You're sick. So don't do it to somebody else. Like, let's chill out. Like, everybody just let's, chill. Let's be cool. And then, like, another thing that me and my friends were saying yesterday is, like, in Baltimore, people don't really support as much as, like, other cities. I'm in Virginia for school, and people at school really support me. And people at home, but my couple friends, 
don't really be like trying to give mm-hmm. honor where it's due. Like mm-hmm. I think that I'm always the type of person that really give credit mm-hmm. when credit is due. And people in Baltimore just don't believe in that. Like they feel they like, don't. oh, she pretty. I feel like nowadays they're I'm not trying. To... I feel like nowadays they're trying, but it's like pulling teeth. Pet peeves. I have a lot of them. I have a whole list. Go ahead, you can start this time. No, I said I'm reading the question, oh, so go ahead. First. I... My pet peeves. <clears throat> Um, when people bite their nails, it bothers me. And if you know me, you know that. Because I'd be like, get your hands out your mouth. Like, I don't like that. Because you touch everything throughout the day. Mm-hmm. Um, another thing is like... Mine's about to be so petty. Another thing is like, a boy that just lies to your face when you already know, like, what it is. Like, I can just laugh. I really can just sit back and laugh. It's just like, really... Another thing is a, like a nasty attitude. The last one. <laughs> a nasty attitude, like when a girl or anybody just really just always has like a complaint about everything that's going on. Like I can't be around that. Like it, it really just bothers my insides. Like just because, like I don't know. I'm just very grateful for everything. So like when somebody just always got something to say, it just really bothers me. That's really my pet peeve. My- Pet peeve. I don't like when people think they're so perfect. Like that just bothers me. I I really don't like people like that. Um, and act like there's nothing going on. Maybe in your household or in your world, whatever. Like everybody go through something. Also, this one better be so petty. But I don't like when I'm with like friends and stuff, and I got like something in my eye, nose, something, and my friend don't say anything or like something's on my clothes. I really that is one of my biggest pet peeves. Like I cannot stand. Like if my collar is flipped up, tell me. Like if something is wrong on my outfit, like let me know. I feel like that's being a real friend. <laughs> Get up. Get out of my hair. Go say it. All right. I just don't like people that. All right. I don't like when people don't understand when. Yeah, this people... is too specific for a pet peeve. <laughs> pet peeve is something that people do continuously. Yeah, that and this is. Like. No, I'm going to say it because it's something that goes on today. Yeah. All right. But I don't like people who don't understand when other people are busy. That blows me. Like. I don't like if I can't make something. Yeah, you my friend still, and I'm gonna do whatever I can to support you. You are screaming to the top Stop. of your love. because I've been wanting to get this out for the longest time. I just can't stand when people be like, "Oh, you ain't come to this event, so I'm cutting you off." You a clown because I'm busy, all right, and I will try to make it to the next one. And then if I don't make it to that one, it was just the wrong time again. We're going to keep doing it until we get it right. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, but that was like so specific. I don't care. I had to get it out. I'm tired, okay. of, I'm tired of that bull crap saying that mess on um, Instagram. Oh, if you don't do this, you ain't a real friend. If you yeah. ain't, like that stuff is childish. Get out of here. We got stuff to do. And if you can't make Another pet peeve is I can't stand when people, I had to cut you off because all right, like we get it. Another pet peeve is when people don't understand when they're wrong. Like I'm a believer in like taking ownership. Like I'd be like, okay, mm-hmm. that was dumb. Like I take ownership. I really do. And I just can't stand when people just don't want to say they're wrong. Like, right. that really bothers me. That bothers me, too. All right, so the next question before I get pissed. <laughs> That's exactly right. That's Who cheats more, talking. girls or boys? This is, like, I a think weird it's question. Equal. Because it's no answer to It's no real answer to this. It's, it's just equal. it depends on the individual. Like It's equal because I have, I have friends that cheat, like, homegirls that cheat. When I tell you, yeah. okay, like That's I have crazy. home girls that cheat, like they really, they have just a a men's mentality, like mm-hmm. so it's like it's taboo to us because you never really see like a woman like saying stuff like that, but it's just like it's like you, she just she likes just it. sex, <laughs> so <laughs> she just does what she wants to do. It's not about oh I'm gonna play him, do this, like it's not that. Um, you have some girls like me who just. Don't cheat at all. I used to though, way back in the day. But me now, the place I'm in, if I'm in a committed relationship, I ain't cheating. It's no point. What? It say what's our signs? I'm a Scorpio. 
I'm an Aries. Yeah. When did you first start doing makeup, and how did you? How would you rate it? <laughs> like my own makeup, cause I don't do makeup. But um, we start. When did I start doing my makeup? Probably like 2014. Cause I think, all right. Well, I started off doing my eyebrows like 2013, but they were horrible. Um, and then probably like 2015, I started adding like the contour and stuff. That was a mess because I was getting like I'm not saying all beauty store products are terrible, but the ones that I was getting, it was a mess, and I didn't know how to blend. Um, how to rate it? I really don't know. <laughs> I think I started doing makeup when I was in seventh grade because I simply remember because yeah. me and my best friend. I was just grown. It's not that I was grown. I'm just like into makeup. It's like certain things people are into. So like if somebody like to sing when they too, they just like to sing. And I just like to do my makeup. So I just, mm -hmm. me and my best friend Aaliyah, we should just be in school, putting makeup on in school. And I'm not going to bring my makeup because I'm humble. It's I. Uh, oh! No, I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna um, answer your question. I think that for me, for my skin, for my face, I'm probably like an eight. I think I do well blending my eyebrows. I don't do makeup like that, so mm -hmm. I think I do pretty well for my face. I ain't doing nobody else's face though. Um, it says bad habits. Oh, I'm supposed to say it? I don't know if I have a bad habit. Let me think. Mm -hmm. My bad habit is, and I was just saying this. When was I saying this? My bad habit is like, when I don't get my way, it's just not good. I think that's yeah, the only bad very, habit I have. Like, like, I'm not. One day, she was about to cry because her boyfriend <laughs> didn't come over here and bring her food. So, yeah. <laughs> That's you gotta you gotta get better with that. I don't like it's just something in my body that just be like cry. Like it really just bothers me. Like one time my boyfriend had left the house because I was not ready in time. I also put my lashes on. I'm like, you can wait five minutes and he left and I just bust out crying. Like you would have thought he broke up with me. I just bust out crying. That's my only bad habit. What's but my I don't bad really habit? have no other bad habits like that. Bad habit. I don't do nothing. I don't do anything bad. <laughs> Say no. Um, what's a bad habit for me? Attitude. I feel like that's not a habit though. I just have an attitude. Like, I just have a bad attitude. That's a bad but habit. But not all the time. A bad attitude is a bad. I feel like I don't have a bad attitude all the time though. I used to be horrible. I can't really think of a bad habit. But I only have bad habits like that. Oh, Would you go back after getting cheated on? Be it say be honest. I never been cheated. Well, from what I know, because everybody was be like, "How you know you ain't never been cheated on?" From what I know, my past relationships, I've never been cheated on, because that's a discussion me and my significant others had. But um, if they did cheat on me, probably not. Probably not. <laughs> For me, being that I did get cheated on a couple times, and I don't know. You go back. <laughs> yeah. Yo. I did go back, but I was young, like, and I just think that, like, it just depends. It don't depend on anything, because now, if I were to get cheated on, I would not go back. Um, yeah, she was just young. I was young, and I was, I'm going to be honest, the things say be honest. I was young, and I think I was just very insecure, like, I didn't really know myself. Like that to even know that I'm like so bomb dot com to even get whoever I wanted, so I just kept going back because it was like when you're so comfortable you just keep going back, and I was comfortable so I kept going back. But like now, when them little niggas hit me up, I'm sorry to say niggas, but when they hit me up, it's like why are you even talking to me? Like I just think now I know my worth and I know who I am. So that's a lesson for y'all out there: know your worth and know who to freak y'all are. What do you guys look for in a man? Did I already ask that? You said relationship. Yeah, somebody said in a man. Let me go ahead and start this off because he gotta be fine first. I'm sorry, okay? I know people be like, it's not about that. 
I'm going to get to that, okay? Because it's possible. You can have good qualities in man. He can still be cute. He got to be fine. Um, the second thing, great personality. I have to be able to laugh, like, and geek with you all day. Mm -hmm. um, you must be loyal. You must have something going for yourself. Um, I don't care what it is. Whether you want to be an athlete, whether you want to be a designer, doctor, something. Um confidence as well i look at if you carry yourself like a clown uh, not a clown <laughs> if you carry yourself like you don't know who you are you don't got this demeanor about yourself this attitude this presence i ain't really checking for you i mean i don't check for nobody period but i'm just saying like i ain't really like like you are i ain't stunting you i ain't, I ain't stunting, stunting you, you. All right. Your hands cold. Why they cold? For me, what do I look for in a young man? Um, I look for. Oh, smart. Thank you. That's the last one. You have to be intelligent. You have to be intelligent. What do I look for? Um, yes, I look for intelligence. I look for not cockiness, but I just love mm -hmm. like. Confidence. It's all about the confidence. I just love like when somebody really just know that they really like mm -hmm. that that dude. Like, Jeez. That really just that unstable mindset. I can't Shut deal the with freak up. I'm sorry because these niggas today is unstable. Don't know what they want, and I can't. Like bye. Next. Thank you. Next. Do I have the floor? You have the floor and more. And I also look for kindness and sweetness um like i spoke on earlier i'm very spoiled <laughs> i'm very spoiled hey, so yeah. i'm gonna need you to deliver anything that i need you to deliver like come on i really need somebody that is just like oh i have it my boyfriend does everything that i need him to do he is sweet my boyfriend is my whole heart yo like he's really just the best so i ain't looking for nothing man i don't know what i look for i look for him and i'm with him <laughs> Ayo. I look for him. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to be flipping, like, back and forth to my stuff and Somebody her Somebody said, do you have a boyfriend? That's not a good question. No. So, uh, that is a good question. Do I have a boyfriend? No. Next. I'm single. The most, challenging, the most challenging part about being a hotel manager at such a young age. <laughs> um... <clears throat> a lot of things um probably just the lack of sleep and i don't really have a lot of time to do things my schedule is just crazy my schedule is just so crazy because i never know if somebody's going to call out do certain things and if i'm home and somebody acts out or whatever at work while they're at work I'm still at work when I'm home. Like, I got to figure things out for them. I have to figure out who's going to come in if somebody calls out while I'm home. I don't have time to chill um, and do other things. So, yeah. Another thing that's kind of hard is, like, when you're working with younger people and... <laughs> when you're working with younger people and they're like so cool with you but you have to separate personal and business yes let's it's, talk about personal and it's, business it's very hard let's speak on personal and business it's very hard because that's so ghetto that i just did it it was very hard because like i really like y'all but I do have to do my job at the same time. I want to speak on so personal don't think and business you can, hold on so don't think you can call <laughs> out don't think you can just do certain things and I'm not going to discipline you, you know? I have to. It's my job. <laughs> yeah, and I ain't playing it, so. <laughs> Go ahead. I hope I explained that right. It's just like, when I think about my job, when I think about the hotel, I get stressed all over again. I don't really want to think about stressed. that. This is very stressful. Why somebody asked At it? the age of 23. It's a good question. It's fine. It was horrible. So, you know. Shut up. It was a good question. But it's like at the age of 23. Yeah. 
hard. Go ahead. So I really want to speak on, we're going to bring down with these questions. I want to speak on a few topics that I had in mind. Um, what do you feel about mixing? Don't look at me like that. You have, I want to hear. What do you <laughs> feel about? Um, I just was like, all right, let me hear. What do you feel about mixing? What do you feel about separating your relationship and career? Like, how do you feel that you should balance the both? You should balance the both. You should balance the both. I mean, balance the two. <laughs> the both. So, dilemma. Say yeah. you have a boyfriend and you have a huge job offer mm -hmm. in LA. Right. You have a boyfriend. He's not feeling it. What do you do? Mm. Right now at this age, I'm going to have to say deuces. Like, if you're not going to support me, then we can't be because my dreams and my aspirations are here. Like, I have goals mm -hmm. that I want to accomplish and that I will accomplish. So if you're not going to be behind me and you're not going to support me, and we can't still be a couple, you know, we can't work things out, then I'm going to have to let you go. I'm not going to say that I wouldn't try. Like, I'm not opposed to trying. Because um, if I really love the person, I'm not going to just dead it that fast. But, yeah, if push come to shove, you're not going to support me, then I'm 23, baby. I got things to do. Got to go. Mm -hmm. They ain't been held back by no female. So, I'm going to do the same thing. That's what I'm saying. We out. That's what I'm seeing. How you feel about it? Girl, you know how the freak I feel. We just yeah. talked about this the other day. Shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm very... Listen, let me tell y'all something. Let me something about me and Earth. 20s are your selfish years. And it sounds bad, but you really have to be selfish because... Who's going to feed your kids? Mm -hmm. Who's going to feed you? You don't even have kids. Who's going to feed you? Okay? But that's unless the guy isn't supporting you. Or that's unless... Your significant yes, other. Yeah, we are saying that. It's not supporting. That's, that's a dilemma I gave. Shut up. Next but question. if any other thing, you know what I'm saying? Mm hmm What's some advice that you can give women out here that might be going through any type of breakup with anyone or mm. going through just any type of insecurities or anything like that after a breakup? Because you know sometimes mm -hmm. when you break up with someone, you can be insecure. Okay. So the advice... I always give my friends because they always call me like, oh my God, I'm sad. Um, <laughs> I just feel like the first step, take some time out, regroup, relax. The second thing, I always tell myself certain things like remind myself who I am. Like you bad, you bomb, you smart, you this, you that. Because negative thoughts are always running through your mind. Like... And you don't want to believe that because then you just gonna walk around like a bump on a log and mm -hmm. that's not cute. That's not what we do. You just pick it up and you move on. It is what it is. It just didn't work out. What's the other question you was asking me? <laughs> <laughs> um, for me, I feel like, well, I'm really a different breed from a lot of chicks out here. Yeah, like, sure. I don't like to talk process about it. things. I do. I don't process things the way that most females do and I'm not saying that in a boasting type of way because I hate that I don't mm -hmm. like express I to, emotions I have to pull it out of her like I don't express things versus me I call Erica straight up like yo like, okay. this, this boy is a clown blah 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 she just me, be quiet I be like mm -hmm. and I be like I feel like something going on with you and I have to pull it out of her. Yeah. Or people just me. will never know. I think it's because when I was in high school, I had somebody cheat on me. Yeah. I remember that And I call. did cry. My she eyes cried out. her tail off. I was at Checkers. I'll never forget. I was at Checkers and a day going drive through. And I get a phone call from her. She's like, <laughs> she, beep, cheated on me. I said, what? She was like, beep. <laughs> I said, what? She lived right around the corner too. I was pulled up. And just lesson for the guys, like they're just 
act just up. stop just doing stop. dumb stuff like don't you hurt a anyone you're a clown in the long run because it's like at some point in time you regret it at yes. some point in time you regret it don't sit here and don't mm-hmm. act like you don't see the girl and be like dang Dang. But what really gets on my nerves, like, me and my sister, we are very sweet girls, like, to the people that we mess with. And when I love, I love hard. I'm sorry. I had to add that. Because when we love... When we love, we love hard. Yeah. So don't take advantage, man. Yes. Like, that's... Go ahead. Let me say this. Go ahead. <laughs> but, like, me and my sister, we so sweet to the guys that we mess with. Like, I don't really know what happened behind closed doors with you and yours. But I know with me, I'm very sweet. I'm very sweet. And the guys that I mess with, they always notice that I'm so sweet. Yes. And I'm just like, you don't feel bad right. about what they you do. They do. Trust me, they do. They to a stupid. sweet girl. They do. And... And then I'm when they see another there. guy, when they see another guy, I'm sorry to cut you off. When they see another guy step in and do what they're not, like, pissed. y'all pissed. Pissed. And I had it happen. <laughs> Currently, pray, pray, read the Bible, talk to your friends, but just make sure you're good. Like, I really just want y'all to understand that, like, feed your souls. Like, feed your souls. Watch freaking Oprah. Watch Iyanla. Like, that really just helps me. All right, so that is the video. I'm sorry it's a little lengthy. I'm about to see you my freaking nerves. You look big on chain. Yeah. <laughs> all right, y'all. I hope you... Can you stop? All right. <laughs> all right, y'all. So that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope we answered. All right, what are you doing? By her that's lips by doing. Sora. Sora, I thought. Y'all like Sora. <laughs> Sora. Um, yeah, so this is the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope we answered your questions the best way we could. And it's a wrap because we better have a family night, better eat, watch some movies. And my little brother is so proud to be in the video. All right, All you guys. <laughs> so All that- right. <laughs> Thank y'all. All right, y'all. So that was the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any more, suggest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. Goodbye.